Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I finished the repair of the Amiga 500 Plus. In the last two episodes, um, I fixed the battery damage and bring the Amiga back to life. If you haven't seen part one and part two of the series, so I highly recommend to do this before you watch this episode, so you will better understand what I've done in the past. So, um, at the end, I give this Amiga a little love to the case and we put all together making a final test and then we have a working Amiga 500 Plus in good conditions. Enjoy the video and let's start it! So here we have the mainboard and the lower case part but uh, this is not the only one. I put the main board on the side, I'll finish with it. You see it's a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty, but we have a, a pile of other case parts. We have the keyboard too, and we have to service the floppy drive. So. Let's start with the keyboard. Keyboard is, you see, dusty, but in good shape and fully working. So all we have to do is to remove the keys and clean this up. For this we have this for the keys and this for the springs and they use this keycap puller it's very cheap but it's also very handy you can remove the keys or the keycaps without break them So all keycaps are removed, you see it's a lot of dust under the keycaps. Oh, we we'll take a brush. And brush this from the keyboard. Oh, you see a lot of fluff and dirt. Throw it away. Oh. 
take some window cleaner and paper towel and give them a quick wipe. Uh, Now the keyboard is clean. We can put this on the side. Now we take the plastic parts and the keycaps and give them a shower and the keycaps take a bath. If these are clean, we let them dry. And then we Make the rest. Now it's time for a little service to the floppy disk drive. It's a little bit dusty, but it's work. It works. So let's open it up and take a look inside. So here we have the floppy disk drive. It's a Chinon FB354. It's with direct drive. It's very reliable and it's a little bit dusty. Oh, we clean this up. And then we clean this drive mechanism. It's black grime. Clean the old Grease. So you see dirty, dirty, dirty. And then we make fresh, fresh uh, silicon grease. Of this drive, just a little bit. So, and now we take a little bit of alcohol, lift this carefully up 
and clean around the head. The head, it's a double sided drive. So and now we clean carefully the head. Hmm. On the bottom and on the on the arm. The upper head very carefully. If you damage this. The drive will not working. So then we need a paper towel and a little bit of window cleaner. I make this on the towel to clean. The fronts carefully the switches here are two switches for the um, for the sensor of disk inside and um, copy protection So that's all we have to do. Reassemble. And then we are ready with this drive. Take a floppy disk one nice green one and it's working. The next we do is to put the main board back in the lower shielding. For this we use some paper towels to prepare and a little bit of window cleaner. To clean this a little bit. Huh? Dirty dirty. Then we put back the plastic part for not shorting. And our main board we repaired in the last two episodes. Now we get our screws and we start with these standoffs.
So, that's it for the moment. The rest of the reassemble we can make if this case and the keycaps are dried. So, I'm back later. So now we are back. The lower case part is dry and every case part is dry. So let's move on with reassemble the lower half. So the lower half is finished, let's move on to the keyboard. For reassemble you can use a photo of the keyboard that you taken before you disassemble this. I use my other Amiga 500.
now the keyboard is complete and let's put it back in his housing. So the last two pieces Now we are ready. The last thing we can do is to peel off this protection film. Oh. And now we can test if all is working. So all is connected. And now we make the final test. Fingers crossed. Starting. And now we try to boot workbench. And it seems that the Amiga 500 Plus is booting into the workbench. That can take a little bit of time. The workbench, mouse is working. Yeah. If you see, 
It's working. Yeah. Done. This is for this episode. Now we have saved another Amiga 500 plus. It's fully working now. Maybe I made some future videos how I upgrade this nice machine. But for now, I'm happy about this result. And it's great. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos and support the channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching and I see you next time.